Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Deitra Tate. Good morning at 620, and here's a check of the satellite view here. Uh, not much in the way of cloud cover over us. It's a relatively clear sky. Temperatures are a little bit on the warmer side compared to yesterday, but still cool. However, as far as uh, any type of systems coming in, we have a cold front that's just off the screen that's going to be sliding in as we head into the afternoon today. That's going to lead to cooler weather by tomorrow morning. But this morning, not too bad, especially compared to this same time yesterday morning. Temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees warmer with 52 coming in for Portsmouth, 57 in North. 58 for Hampton. You're looking at 54 for Suffolk. Along the eastern shore, Wallace Island, you remain the warm spot with 61, and right now it's 56 degrees in Elizabeth City. The winds are out of the southwest, about 10 to 15 miles per hour on average. More calm winds the further inland you go, but it will be a bit breezy at times, and we've had winds gusting up to about 20, just like what we see here on the eastern shore around Melfa, with those winds relatively strong. So again, just be prepared for a little bit of a breeze, but again, temperatures will be comfortable as 70s are on deck for the afternoon highs today. We're going to go low to mid 70s and then the cold front's going to cross and that's going to bring us a surge of cooler air by later tonight into tomorrow. So you'll notice a difference heading out the door for Tuesday morning. Definitely a, a bit more of a chill or a bite to the air as temperatures will be primarily in the 40s starting off the day. And again, it's going to be a struggle for temperatures to reach around 60 degrees for a high tomorrow. As far as Wednesday, more of the same. That colder air is going to settle. So temperatures could be a few degrees cooler in the morning, possibly even even some upper 30s inland, but it's going to hover around that 40 degree mark. And then through the afternoon, we're expecting temperatures to stay in the 50s. So it's going to be a pretty chilly day Wednesday. From that point, temperatures will begin to kind of rebound a bit ahead of another front that's going to move through on Thursday afternoon. As far as future track, again, looking quiet because we're really not expecting any moisture with this front that crosses. So the only uh, way to really tell that a front will have moved through is that we're going to have that wind shift and we could have a few additional clouds through the afternoon. But by 5 o'clock, everything is high and dry. Now, future track is picking up on a little bit of moisture that may impact those of you in North Carolina later on this evening, but the chance of that is really less than 20%. So I think most of all, most of us, I should say, will enjoy a dry day. Again, just a few additional clouds as the front crosses your area. And then by tomorrow morning, you just have to get ready ready for a chilly start, but at least we'll start the day with sunshine. Throughout the day tomorrow, looks good. High pressure is going to be in full control of our area on Tuesday. So we're going to go with a mainly sunny sky. As far as the forecast for today, we'll go with 73 degrees for a high in Nags Head, 74 for Edenton, 73 for Hatteras. It's going to be a nice, warm, mild day. As far as the south side, temperatures above average, 74 expected for Norfolk, 76 for Chesapeake, 77 for Franklin. Southwest wind switching northwesterly about 10 to 15. For the peninsula, 76 for Newport News. Same temperature expected for Smithfield. A bit warmer in Williamsburg, close to 80. We'll go low 70s on the eastern shore, and we'll keep it around the mid-70s for the middle peninsula, and the winds will be a little stronger here, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's your seven-day forecast. Again, it gets cooler after today, so enjoy today's weather, especially this afternoon. Warm up a little bit Thursday, but we do have showers coming in with that next front, and then on Saturday, another front comes in. It's going to be a warm kickoff to the weekend.